Let's take a look at uh, the game. Uh, so how the Jan won this tournament? What is his Let, Let's see what game? happened in the game. Maxim decided to surprise Jan, uh, avoiding any theoretical fight. Black doesn't fight for the center. Hello. What about uh, d4, e4, d, e5? Well, d5, okay. Black tries to avoid any strategical, um, typical situations. He wants to avoid any typical ideas and uh, just to make uh, Jan think uh, from the first moves. The total control of the whole position. And this is what actually happened with Maxim, so it seems like he finished development, but now he does not know what to do next. It's very hard to be creative in such a situation. In such a passive position. Black trying to complicate the things, uh, but at the same time being worse. Jan still tried to keep it uh, under control, so he tried to play the move, which is good, uh, without any unclear things in it. You being a professional chess player, professional coach, what do you think about this opening strategy? It's even more about what your opponent think about this position. So if you make him think that he is worse, that he is in trouble, it is much more important than actually get the advantage. Nipomnich actually didn't win his rivals. He made uh, three draws and won uh, two other games. But this was a perfect strategy to keep leading and to control the tournament situation. We even heard on the press conference Jan Nipomnich is saying that uh, at some moment at this game, he just decided to have a look at the Grishuk game and once he saw that Grishuk was winning, he told himself, okay, let's just exchange everything and keep it simple and um, go for a draw. Hello?